Tesla recalling more than one and a half million cars in China due to autopilot issues, increasing the risk of accidents. Ed Ludlow is in San Francisco. Look, it's never good when you've got a recall. The question is the gravity of it and the size. So contextualize that for me. Yeah, the reality is that it is a recall in name only. The concern of China's regulator is that Tesla is not doing enough to draw the driver's attention to the rules of the road. And in using autopilot, the regulator is concerned that there will be misuse that could result in accidents. The solution is an over-the-air software update. It's not as if the regulator is forcing Tesla to take back physical possession of the cars. 1.6 million vehicles in China impacted, uh, as you said, those are for uh, domestically or locally built Model 3 and Y from 2014 through to the end of last year, and also any imported Model S and X within the same time period. Um, and it mirrors really closely what happened last month in the US, right, with NHTSA. That was, again, a recall in name only, where the solution was a software update. Uh, you can do it at the press of a button overnight very quickly if you're a Tesla owner. Um, but the stock is under pressure. We're down for a, a sixth straight session, matching the run of declines that Tesla had in August. The stock's trading at its lowest level uh, since November. It's on track for its biggest weekly decline since October of 2023. It is down for a third straight week. So, again, a recall in name only, but it seems to be pressuring the shares with down six tenths of one percent in this Friday session. Uh, and it's part of a sort of uh, news cycle that has seen Tesla under a bit of pressure of late.